Here we have the Femi Palm in its box and let's have a look inside. Here's what it looks like when you very first open the box. Is how small that is! Oh my goodness! There's a little lead there, comes with it for charging. That looks like the same charging lead I had for my GoPro Hero 5 actually. I'm having a little look at the instructions here. It's a touch screen. Oh, joystick. So these are the three different axes because it turns around as we'll see in a minute. It's got two mics on it. There's mic one, mic two is down there on the other side. This bit here is a cover for the gimbal and it says only remove it when it's off and you just pull it like that. Ooh. Oh look it's giving you the eye. <sighs> now this is a bonus that my other cameras don't have which is an external mic socket there. Look you can just sit it flat on a surface as long as it's uh, not in danger of getting knocked over I suppose that'd be all right. That round the back there looks very much like a tripod mount to me. It warns you to take great care when taking this off and putting it back on again because if you damage the gimbal you've had it I think pretty much. It's talking about this base here but it doesn't seem to be one in the box. I think, you see my boyfriend bought me this and he charged it up for me so I wouldn't mind betting that he has the base. I'm going to give him a quick ring. No he says he's never had one so it must be an accessory or something that you can get in addition to it. He plugged it in just in the bottom port there. It's time to pop the micro SD in. Obviously this doesn't come with the camera, you've got to get that separately. I'm assuming that goes in there. Have a little look at the instructions. Let's see. Yep, that's gone in. We're ready to try and switch this on. If that didn't work at all, right. Behold the instructions. Long press, turn on or turn off the palm. Short press, take a capture according to current shooting mode. Double click, recenter the gimbal. Triple click to switch the camera 180 degrees. I suppose that means back to front. Right, let's try the long hold then. Ooh, <laughs> it did something. It's telling me I've got an error and whenever I try and press record it tells me I've got to click format SD cards. I don't quite know what that means. I'm trying to figure this out from online instructions now. Right, let's get this thing on. Okay, we need to get onto system settings. Right, let me see if I can just do that from the beginning to show you. Okay, so you turn it on. Oh yeah. And you do a swipe down and then you go along until you find system settings, which is right at the end, and then you click on that. So now we're on here, we swipe that way. And we click on that and click format to finish apparently. Confirm to format, okay. Oh, there we are. Okay, so I've had a little bit of a play with it and I don't know which camera to look at now. I am filming this on both cameras at the same time. I've got my Sony Handycam I'll write the spec on screen there for that one so you know which one it is. It's retailing for around £260 at the moment. And I'm also filming on the Femi Palm at the same time, which is retailing for just under £200 at the moment here in the UK. So what I think what I'm going to do <laughs> is I'm going to do a bit of this dual filming with both cameras, or at least one straight away after the other, so you can directly compare between the two cameras to compare both the audio and the visual. I'll obviously have to have the audio one at a time, but I'll indicate which one it is. My initial impressions are the audio on the Femi is nowhere near as good as the audio on the Sony. And also on my Sony, I've got some little fluffets, my Rycoat wind jammers, which are stuck on. And I don't have any on the Femi yet, so I've got some in the drawer to put on when we go outside. I went and just put it on my laptop quickly to see what it was like, initial impressions. So the initial impressions was the sound sounded muffled, but there is an external mic socket, as you know, in the bottom there. So that's not potentially a big problem if you're happy to use an external mic. So this is just a very initial impressions video, but let's do a little bit of filming with some different lighting conditions, different environments and different types of coloured things and we'll do indoors and outdoors. It doesn't come in a protective case, so think about how you're gonna 
take that out and about without damaging it. I think it will fit in my camera case with this, but I would like some kind of sleeve to put it in, I think. I'll have a little think about what to do. Hello, this is future editing me. I'm going to have to turn the audio up on the Femi in order for it to be clear enough for you to understand it. So from now on, all the Femi audio clips will be turned up. I won't try and crisp them up or do any other kind of audio processing. It's just volume. Okay, it's very, very, very quiet compared to the other one. Back to the other me. This is the Sony Handycam that I'm using right now, as you can see. Evidence, there's the Femi sitting limply on my puzzle mat here. So here's a puzzle I did over the last couple of days. Da -da! Have a look at those colours with the Sony Handycam. It's bonfire night. Now I'm going to switch to the Femi. This is multitasking, this is. So yeah, one immediate advantage is I am able to get very, very close into the action with this and that's going to be kind of handy in shops and things like that when I'm trying to film price tags and, you know, just out and about getting into craggy rock textures, that sort of thing. I'm filming this on the Femi. I'm just going to pop out into our little patch of backyard to see what it looks like in really good lighting conditions. So this is the Femi now. I'm having a good look at my rather sorry looking bean plants. This is the Sony. I'm a lot more used to this camera of course so I'm probably handling it better as well and angling it better you know. As you can see I am filming with both at the same time at the moment. So I can put them side by side on the screen and indicate which audio I'm using. This is me back on the Sony again, Isabel, my daughter. I sent her out to get me a thousand piece puzzle this morning and I'm going to show it on this one. Here it comes, there we are. It comes to look at you then. A bit eerie, isn't it? It's almost like a creature. <laughs> Let's go up the hill anyway and get some gratuitous wide outdoor shots on both cameras for comparison. Okay, so I've come out into the woods and I've found somewhere where there's no people to uh, run away from the camera. <laughs> and I've just literally got these two cameras side by side. You're currently listening to the Sony audio, but I'm going to switch to the Femi audio now. I suppose I better do a bit more talking so you can compare the talking on the audio. Oh, ew! Oh. <laughs> this is what happens when you're trying to look at two monitors at once. <laughs> right, I'm now in selfie mode trying to navigate across these uneven stone thingies. So you can compare the colour. I am not putting any filters on this, by the way. Once I got into camera comparison mode, I have not used any post-edit colour grading or tweaking the lighting or exposure or anything like that because obviously you want to know what it's like without all that stuff. Back on the Sony now. Oh look, I've got some sorrel down there. Right, so have a look at the stabilisation on this. I mean this has got some stabilisation on it but you can get better Sony camcorders for stabilisation. This is a sort of bottom of the range one, unfortunately. This is Femi only now, zooming in on this lovely fern. Let's see how close we can get and still stay in focus. So this is, oh, what are we doing? It's pointing straight up, don't know why. Let's press the button again. Right, so I just click that twice then to centre it on the red button. I haven't mastered the joystick yet, that'll have to be for another episode if you're interested enough for me to make one. So yeah, I'm doing some stomping now through this uneven path just to see what the stability's like really, because this is the sort of place where it can get a bit shaky. I'll do a bit on the Sony for a bit now then. This is the Sony. Okay, I'm going to do a swap again. Now there's 
some lovely stream noise there but I don't know how this mic is coping with that when I did a little bit of filming with this just in the house which I didn't use I went into my daughter's bedroom and chatted to her I didn't include that footage but what I did notice was her audio because she was further away from the mic was a lot less loud and distinct than it would have been on the Sony so if you're relying on other people in your sort of immediate vicinity's audio then I don't think this is very good for that I think you would want some sort of alternative mic so I'm just going to finish up now on the Femi in selfie mode. Please give the video a like if you liked it. It really helps the channel to grow. I normally do vlogs, not techie videos normally, but I thought I should do it because I could and it could be useful. So if you would like to follow some of our vlogs, feel free to hit that subscribe button and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.